Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Elvia and today I'm very very excited because I finally got my Too Faced peanut butter and honey palette. This is what it looks like. It says smells like peanut butter and honey. It does say in the back of this palette that don't worry, it does not contain any actual uh, peanuts. For those who have a peanut allergy, don't worry about it. There are no peanuts used to create this palette. My package is like all wonky, like bent. It received a good beating on its trip to my house. So, oh, it's, a, it's the tin. And that's what it looks like. It's exactly it, like the packaging of it and they usually are the same way. So this is what the palette looks like. It's really pretty. Especially like these two shimmer shades. This one I'm hoping that it's not going to be too like chunky and it's going to blend well. So, And by the way, it smells so good you know what it almost reminds me of like the scent of like chai tea you know what i'm saying like the keurig chai tea oh that is just amazing it's a good thing that these palettes come with you know little instructions on how to do a look this one that's called feeling nutty peanut butter and honey and then the final one is honey buns so in theory that's what they're supposed to look like I'm really excited to use this palette. I will be doing the peanut butter and honey look on this eye, on my right eye, and honey buns on my left eye, just to show you if it's possible to realistically follow these because I personally have never done it. I kind of just gone with whatever colors I think kind of blend well together. So we'll see how that goes. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe as well as like it, and let's just start digging into this palette. So I'm going to swatch the shadows with my Sigma E60 brush. I'll be using my Sephora Color Switch by Veramona just to make sure there's no color transfer in between shades as I'm swatching. And as always, I use my Shadow Insurance Eye Primer to prime my eyes and I will be putting it on my arm as well as a base while I swatch them. So we're going to go from the top of the row, the second row, and then the third row. So in the Sweet as Honey, which is the first row, this is Creamed Honey, which is a pinky shimmery tone, but it looks really, really light against my skin tone. This one is Peanut Butter, and this is really, really pretty, and it like swatched amazingly, as well as this color, which is going nuts. The next row, which is called Queen Bee, this is Bee Sweet, and it's a pink tone, but again, because of my skin color, it doesn't really show as pink. This next color here, the Honey Brittle, is really beautiful it swatched so amazing as well as bees knees like I was impressed this is the one that I thought was gonna be a little gritty because of the amount of sparkle it had but it's really really pretty the next row is called peanut butter and honey this is Queen Bee um this came off like really really white and it has a grayish tone so I'm not sure how this is gonna work but I mean we'll see how it goes this one is so beautiful, this Honey Buns. I was so impressed with the color payoff that I got from it, as well as this Feeling Nutty, which is the last color. To start off, we will be priming our eyes with some Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Okay, for this look here, right eye, okay? With my E71 from Sigma, I will be going into the shade Queen B and placing that from the brow bone to the crease. It actually looks really pretty. It looks very different when you apply it versus it looking in the palette. So that is surprising to me. With my E38 Sigma brush, we're going to go into the color Honey Brittle here and placing that into our crease area. This color blends so nicely. I'm very, very impressed with it. And also the color payoff is like so exact to what it looks like in the palette that that's spectacular to me. Um, I know that it doesn't say to use anything to blend it, but it's just habit. So I'm gonna go in with my E40 brush and just make sure that the colors are blended in together. 
with my Sigma E57 brush, I'm going to be going into this color Honey Buns and placing that into our inner corner, okay? You know, in the picture, it's more like inner corner and then going into the center. So I'm going to follow the way it looks like in the picture rather than what it says. And going in with my E40 brush, going to make sure that it's all blended well. With my Sigma E25 brush, I'll be going into the color Peanut Butter. And it says to place it into the outer crease and outer lid area. Going in with my E40 brush, gonna make sure that there are no harsh lines. That color blended in so well. I'm very, very like surprised at how good the, these shadows are. Taking my E65 liner brush, this is the last step. It's us to create a winged liner look using Going Nuts, which is this top shade here. So. I've never done a winged liner with eyeshadow. I don't know why, it's just not something that I do. There are no instructions about what to do with the under eye area, so I'm gonna go ahead and make one of my own just because I really can't stand having like a bare bottom lid. So I'll be going into the color Honey Brittle and placing that on the entire lower lid area. Oh, and by the way, I'll be using my Sigma E30 pencil brush for this. And then going into the color Peanut Butter, I'll be placing that on the outer edge of my bottom lid with the same brush. And then with the same brush, I'm going to be going to that color Going Nuts and very gently just tying it together with the liner that we just did. Now to finish the look, I'll be going with my Tarte Eyelash Curler. Just realized that I ran out of that mascara, so thank God I have a backup for it to finish this look. What kind of person would I be if I didn't finish the look with some better than sex mascara, right? Like, come on. Okay, now there is, it looks so weird with like one naked eye, but that is the finishing look to this. That is pretty darn good. I should probably start using these more often. That looks pretty i'm very very impressed with it especially that yellow shade and i mean that um the honey brittle this peachy tone it's just to die for not literally but it's so gorgeous so i already primed this eye so i'm not gonna do that anymore i already cleaned my brushes off with my sephora color switch because i'm going to be reusing some of them with our sigma e71 brush we're going to go into the shade cream honey and we're going to place that from our lashes to brow bone, which I take that thing as our whole eye area. That color does have a bit of shimmer, but it's not like really overpowering the look. With my Sigma E38 brush, it says to take the color Honey Bun to place that in your crease area. Taking my Sigma E32 brush, it says to take the color Going Nuts, which is this top one here, and placing that on the outer and inner lid area. And last with our Sigma E57 brush, we're going to be using the color these knees 
and it's best to place it in our middle lid area as well as our lower lash line. For my lower lash line, I'll be taking my Sigma E20 brush. Then just like before, I'm going to curl my eyelashes and then use my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And here is the finishing look. And again, this is Honey Buns. I really like this look for whatever reason. I didn't think it was gonna come out right, but it looks really pretty. And then again, here is the Peanut Butter and Honey look. Overall, this Too Faced Peanut Butter and Honey palette, I do recommend it. On the Ulta.com website does say that it's coming soon on March 1st. It means like it's gonna be available to purchase online. It does say that in stores it will be available March 19th. And on the Too Faced.com website, it just says it'll be available soon or coming soon or something. The palette is gonna retail for $36, just like all the other palettes. So there's no surprise in pricing. In that sense i hope you enjoyed my video on the new Too faced peanut butter and honey palette i really did enjoy this palette very very much i had fun with it and i hope you enjoyed yourselves as well don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like it as well if you enjoyed it and i will see all of you guys soon bye